The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. We have the great debaters in here. We have Marcel Smith and we have Walter Quick. Quick Dance. Hello, hello. If this is your first time listening, this is a Detroit based podcast where we talk about any and everything. Nothing is off limits. We're going to go back in time with my top 10 list of the week, which is top 10 kids WB shows. Now, I was going to do a merger with kids WB and WB, uh, kids WB, but it just it wasn't going to work because there's so many shows that I have to talk about and honor with Nostalgia Month, August, this year being August. Um, so we're going to get into it. Uh, before we get into it, uh, we're going to talk about Kids WB, what it meant to us, and, and, you know, the stuff that still lingers today when we first think of Kids WB. Like, for me, um, I think of the, the bumpers that they had with the bouncing WB water yeah. tower. Yeah, that one. And the frog. Uh... Michigan J Frog, yeah. <laughs> His name was Michigan. <laughs> His name was Michigan J Frog. No, that's wild. Can't make that up. Who, who names their kid Michigan? <laughs> Michigan. Oh my, oh my God, it is. <laughs> it's, oh it's called Michigan. Oh. His real name is Michigan J Frog. Yeah, don't doubt me on that one. I know, I know. I know a stupid amount of Looney Tunes history for no, or just WB Looney Tunes history for no fucking reason. Yes, what? Michigan J Frog, that's his name. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime gal. I remember they had a a, a, a child's a, a kids segment on weekdays from like three to five. Yeah. Shallow oh, no. <laughs> showdown. His middle name is J. Cox. Jay Cox? Yeah. <laughs> <Makes sense. laughs> Michigan Jay Cox Frog. <coughs> we're about to get demonetized so much. No, we're not. This, we're good. We'll talk about Cox on the show. We're good. Anyway, honorable mentions. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Speaking of uh, adult no, indie windows, will not. <laughs> speaking of adult indie windows, we have Animaniacs, Freakazoid, Ozzy and Drix. Oh, I forgot about that show. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! Johnny, creator of Yu Gi Oh! Johnny made my, Test. Made my, made my childhood so much easier. John, wait, I thought Johnny Test was on a uh, Cartoon Network. It was on a uh, Kids WB. I'm just doing like just kids shows on Kids WB. Don't I have to be remember like original. Time War- Time Warner also had WB and Cartoon Network, so there is. I definitely see that. Yeah, yeah. We had a Cubics Robux for everyone. Cubics, yeah. worst show ever. Worst show hey. ever. Hey, it's it it's so bad. cringeworthy. It's so cringeworthy bad. nowadays. Those graphics did not hold up <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Whose idea was that to make cartoons like that? Like, like yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna last for twenty years. America oh. decided that. Man, we, we you just hate Cubic. You hate America. Decisions. I feel like that's we just made some bad decisions back in the day. Um, we have the Mummy. Remember the Mummy cartoon? I do remember the Mummy. I like the movies better, but yeah, yeah. Um, actually, uh, we had another one, Men in Black, the animated series. Yeah, Got the man. best, one of the best cartoons in the planet. Is it? Is it on streaming anywhere, like HBO Max or something? They got a couple of videos. They got. I haven't seen it on Max. YouTube. I think it's on Crackle. Oh, okay. Man, I remember another streaming service I forgot about. Yeah, that's where you watch the uh, Degrassi on Crackle. <laughs> See, here we go with the Degrassi bullshit. Uh, Max Steel. I, I, was not, I wasn't allowed to watch Max Steel. I did not understand Max Steel. Which one was Max Steel? 
It was the you same animators of Cubics. <laughs> yeah, you despise Cubics, damn. He really fucking does. Well, I, I, no, I rewatched it. I rewatched an episode. I said I can't watch this. It's so it's so bad. <laughs> With his I used to rush the TV to watch it too. When I was soul, a kid. damn. Man, I used to slip and fall mm-hmm. so I'd get to the couch to watch Cubics, man. Bro, I don't know how I did it. For everyone. Robots for everyone. That was a lit theme song, too. It was. Um, and the last honorable mention we have this week is Baby Tunes. It's what? Baby Looney Tunes. Remember oh they had yeah. That, that uh that uh that show. Good times. We saw like the origin story of a lot of the a lot of the, the Looney Tunes. Man. So, um, what shows did y'all uh, miss from Kids WB? Like I said, Challenge Showdown was a big one. Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh, wow. um, Shaolin Showdown, the Shangon Wu, the the Batman, and not the Shangon Wu. Wow, wow. But say the Batman was one of them, and the other one was. Uh... I remember Transformers Cybertron. That was one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Static Shock. Yeah. I forgot you even. I was about to say I forgot about that show, but then I think I was like, "Damn, Black Superhero." With power DTE, it's kind of hard to forget. Man, the power, Marcel, of, DTE. The power of DTE. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> People watch the static shot go through the sky, like, wait a minute. Wait, he has the power? <laughs> this nigga here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we figured. You imagine they'd be like, yeah, we figured out who Static Shock was, and they go, how how did he do it? Well, we just kind of looked for a massive power surge in the middle of the night. They usually did it for oh, us. Oh yeah, they'll do it. A, a little crack. DTE was looking at DTE was looking at Dakota like, hmm. We <laughs> can't there, find you can't find his actual base of locations, but something tells me it's right near there where that crackling is. It's like with a uh, speaking of like because that static that static shock is in the same universe as uh the Batman. I remember yeah, that, yeah, right? Yep. Uh, the Batman's Bruce Wayne showed up in um in an episode or two. Rest in peace. Yeah, they, they, they had a crossover. Yeah, they had a crossover. Rest Kevin Conroy peace. wasn't that was, that was that Batman, but rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Um, they, they, no, they had like they had a, they had an hour crossover on Kids WB on Saturday for that. For the yeah, I remember Joker being a couple of episodes of uh. Stag shock. That's the problem. Which, which, by the way, shout out to Kevin Michael Richardson and shout out to whoever decided to make him like. Dude looked, re- dude looked insane. Oh, and for the show. Batman. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He was funny, but yeah, like, shit. He was, he was quite literally aping around. <laughs> aping around. Hey, he was monkeying That's around, cool. man. You can't tell me he wasn't right. black. He had roles for days. He was. And so was his voice actor. He had roles for yeah, well, yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's very talented at voice actor. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. But I can't oh, I can't man. do this today. Um uh, but uh we're gonna do our top ten kids WB shows right after this. All right, my top ten kids shows. <laughs> From Kids WB. Um, number 10. From 2002 to 2005. Mucha Lucha. Created with, Lucha. Adobe, created with Adobe Flash. God rest its soul. Hey, the greatest <laughs> episode. Uh, it, was, of, it was? It was. It was. That's crazy. I'm not surprised by that. The greatest what? episode of Static or of um, Mucha Lucha was 110 percent the movie they did, The Return of El Malefico. Wow, <laughs> I am shocked. I did not know that that was made with just Adobe. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, it was. It How many seasons? Did, that was like three, four seasons of Adobe. I think Flash. it was two. Yeah, this computer no, blew it, up. It... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
you say? What happened to your what happened to your writing? Hey man, I couldn't get the floppy disk. <laughs> That just goes to show that anybody I couldn't get the plug in because <laughs> this was this is pre two thousand five, so we had to probably have a, have a plug in. <laughs> and now it's stuff. now it's called Adobe Animate right now. It is. Yeah. Oh wow. It got got in a whole new facelift. The only program I think that stayed the same was Dreamweaver. Ain't nobody used that no more. Yeah, nobody used Dreamweaver. I forgot about Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is a nightmare. Um, I can get my Adobe, you know, my Adobe stuff back to, you know. Um, number nine, Shaolin Showdown from 2003 to 2007. I was about to say, you don't have this show. Oh, my gosh. You have to. The, the theme song was lit. The theme song was lit. I remember yes. the episode when they, they dressed him up in New York so he could blend in. Just <laughs> You a yellow ball, man. You can you, you can't you blink. Ball. <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't you can't do it. Am I wrong? You can't do it. He really couldn't. He really couldn't. It's like that was Pac- hilarious. It's like placing Pac-Man in the middle of California. It's like, yo, I'm here. <laughs> Man, so Shaolin Showdown. The more I think about it, I think that was kind of racist. It was very racist, but it was uh, the Uh early 2000s, so we didn't care. (laughs) We really didn't care. And kids, if you're listening to this, the early 2000s, and the Dragon Dojo, it needs to be politically correct. The Dragon Dojo, yep, voiced by Wayne from, I think it was Seinfeld. Newman. Oh, Newman? Did Newman. The yeah, he voiced the dragon. Oh, interesting. I mean, if I you just, I guess I have to go back and listen to it. Yeah, it, it's basically the same thing. Interesting. You ah. all the humanity. Um, speaking of the humanity, I'm gonna take a break for a second because I'm gonna talk about. In a few weeks, we're, I'm gonna do. My top 100 movies of all time, which I'm gonna have to do a lot of research for it. So this is why oh, we're so doing this really recording on Monday fights. instead of Tuesday. Yes, I am. Yeah. That's why we're. That's why I'm getting this stuff ready for our live yeah. show for 200. Hey, yo, trust and believe, a Fast and Furious movie about to be on this bitch. Actually, it will. But which one? Oh, oh, oh. Number two, because that's the only worth. That's the only movie worth a damn. Oh. Too fast, too furious. No, wow. like Before I get mad, I'm gonna move on to number eight. <laughs> Before you talk about Fast and Furious like that, number eight from 1997 to 2000, we have Batman and Superman. That low? Yes. Batman and Superman was a lit show, but I barely remember it. I just remember the, the theme song. Also, you can catch that on the Max. Head, like, come from my head. Also, you can catch that. Yeah, on you can. Max. Yeah, yeah, you can catch all the Batman animated stuff on on Max. You don't think I know? Which yet? is pretty cool. I watched all. I'm, I'm telling the people on the podcast. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. The day that I found out that Batman I watched Beyond, the whole season. Oh, that Batman. Batman Beyond was Max was on Max. The rest of the twelve hours, I just watched that show over and over again. They put all of. Them. I I, I, haven't, I haven't watched Batman the uh, I haven't watched the Batman Beyond movie. Uh, it's that, on there. Return of the Joker. Yeah, yeah it's on there. that's the only move. That's the only movie they have. What do you mean? Yeah. For uh, Batman Beyond. I mean, yeah, for Batman the Beyond. Movie they did yeah. for Batman Beyond. Yeah. Are we cons- uh, are yeah. we willing to consider the uh, Cult of Cobra a movie? Because that was like a good two. I don't consider special. a two part or a movie. No, like their movies yeah, so were that special. And, uh, Kiss WB. Must say in the, in that let's say in that universe it was Mask of the Phantasm, and then also a good movie. Joker. Very dark though. Well, yeah. Oh no, they had us waking up as we had us waking up at they had us waking up on Saturday mornings, rushing to the TV at nine a.m. What an hour special! These people were serial killers. I mean, think about it for a Power Rangers episode. For, for like a Power Rangers episode, you usually wait two weeks for the new one to come out. True. No, you didn't. It was on every week. 
Oh shit. At least on ABC Kids, but we'll we'll, we'll get to ABC Kids next week. ABC um, Kids. Oh man. man we got we got a lot of shows for that. Real quick, you remember Fillmore? Cuz nobody I talked to remembers that show. This man we'll, 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 we will we will get there next week, Walter. We will get there right. next week. We will right. We, we will get week. to Fillmore. I mean, these All kids right. we will now, get to now, Fillmore. Walter, these kids are actually into you as a kid, you thinking like, "Oh, this it's, is cool." It's still not this on Disney cool. Plus. Like, no, it's not. The, the, the show is oh, like, oh, this is cool. The, the, the kid detective solving all these crimes. But if you really think about it, it was into some black market shit. It really was. I was like, ABC ain't shit. ABC, mm-hmm. Disney was never shit, though. They'd be like, yeah, that's the kids detectives <laughs> at middle school. But what, but, but, but what are they trying to catch? Like, these niggas out here smoking cocaine in the, in the, in the bathroom. Like, wait, what, 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 what? Man, that fun day was slick with that candy episode. I know. I was like, this, really like, hey, this looks like an episode of Pepper Ran. <laughs> <laughs> wait a bit. I gotta watch those other episodes again, especially the one where, where the white girl was like, I love you. And she, he said, Bitch, your chicken was dry. Real. Right. And he closed the garage door. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's a cold that world out was there. the best episode of Fillmore ever. The end credits came on, and then that's the Raven came on. That was so funny. Because that's cold. That's oh. cold it's a cold world out there. It's cold. But Fillmore was was smooth. Fillmore right? didn't fuck that around. Cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, "What's two plus two? Uh, what's two plus two? I'd be like, "All right, Fillmore, shit." That made that show actually made truant officers look cool. They did. Uh, I love the episode of the Chewing Officer on Powerpuff Girls. Schoolhouse rocked. That's my top ten episodes of Powerpuff Girls. Dodge. Dodgeball. You let some grown green men into your kindergarten. <laughs> they said you got to go to school. They took them to kindergarten. That means they're the dumbest shit. They took them to or that, kindergarten. Or- it, hey, it would be kind of messed up if that kindergarten Pokey Oaks was the only school in at Townsville. <laughs> True. Oh yeah, uh, Pop Up Girls was on Kids WB for a minute. Yeah, I mean, if you really. I mean, back to that, really? if you really think about it, the mayor wasn't shit. Yeah. So it is possible to have for them to have like at least one school, just a kindergarten, no middle school, no high school, none of that. If you really think about it. They really didn't. They really didn't. It's just that folk we ain't seen no other school in that area. Wait, so what were the pop up girls looking at when when the mayor was naked? Because he was facing them. <laughs> this is this is oh um, that's a good oh um, <laughs> because he I was facing them. <laughs> this is, I really don't want to answer that question. I have. These are the questions I have as an adult. <laughs> like what? Got too many questions. <laughs> First is the fruit. First is the grocery fruit. Now this, we high as hell. <laughs> hey, hey, we have questions. I'm not high. I am very not high. I am very sane right I, now. I, this I, is I, 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 I have questions. Boys, I know. Bro. I know. Cartoons are supposed to blend into the realm of reality and bullshit, but uh, this is ridiculous. But he was naked, though. He we saw his butt, but th- but he was talking to them like face to face. So they they weren't looking at his butt. <laughs> so that mayor was something else. <laughs> no, because because, oh. because Mojo Jojo took his clothes. Now, do you remember the episode? All right, can we all agree that uh, Cartoon Network, and I guess by extension WB, had some really kind of like dark fucking moments. I mean, the entire the entirety of Courage for one. But uh, yeah, there was right. an episode of Powerpuff Girls where y'all, y'all remember him. Yeah, the most uh-huh. terrifying fucking Powerpuff villain. Yeah. Um Ew. You remember what he you remember when he sent them into the future? That, mm-hmm. that one creeped that was scary. me out. Oh my god. Fucking, I was it like, literally oh. broke was those Fantasia the girls. episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it broke the girls to the fat to like, bro, we gotta get up out of here. Hey, it broke me too. Right. I was sitting there like, uh Cause I, I watched that again as a like an adult, and I was like, "Bro, this is not something that we want." There's no way in hell we watched this as a kid. I mean, if you really think about it, 
Powerpuff Girls, the, the uh, creator Craig McCracken was mm-hmm. really, really inspired by anime at that time. So I'm pretty sure he watched an episode of Berserk or something. Oh, and Man. you can tell. Like, you, you could definitely see the influence there. But, but God damn, that show was fucked up. Right, but everybody knows. Especially the, fir- the first episode with. All right, who Charles? Yeah, the first Pat? episode with the, the, uh, the, the birthday Charles? bash. Miss mm-hmm. Bellum. Or I forgot what her name was. The kindergarten teacher. Sedusa. Oh. Miss Keen. Miss Keen. Miss Keen. I mean, Medusa is a valuable oh. option, but uh, she needs to put, she needs to glue them tracks back to her scalp. I'm just saying. Jesus Christ. Hello, well. I don't know. Miss Miss Keen can get it. She said, "I want you to go outside and play dodgeball and smile." And she said, "I said, oh yeah." She- he understands what she understands the assignment. She 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 was diabolical. But no, if she that was, was if Pokey Oaks was a school in Detroit and she said no fighting in here, we'd just be like, fuck it, let's throw that on them. <laughs> like straight. <laughs> like, Can't fight for real. So, <laughs> face really hard. No, we just see we, we just be from bathroom fights, just <laughs> cloud of smoke. Right. Office. Pokey Oaks was the Wild West. They had Princess come in there too. Remember when Princess came to Pokey Oaks? And she tore up everything. I hate. I, I'm gonna say this, and I don't think I, I, I don't. I don't give a damn what the audience thinks. Oh. Well, we all knew that Princess needed her ass whipped. She needed a case of asses beaters. Oh, of course. Asses Maybe, beater writers. She's like Baruch Assault on steroids. Asses beaters writers, Walter. Yes. That's Latin. That's Latin for somebody better whoop that ass to a glows. What does her dad do for I a can't. living? I don't know. We don't know what she did, but what, what does Ooh, he had money though? Where's her she mom? Was, she was like, mom? "I want money. I want money." She just had the he had. The, the, the hand of the fist of cash. Yeah, knots for he had knots for days. I mean, yeah. some people got it, some people don't. Uh, yeah. Where's the mother though? We don't care. Some people got it, some people don't. This is just like the episode of Pop Up Girls. Yeah, we we were made by accident, and she was like, "Yes, yeah, so was I." <laughs> 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 that episode kills me every time. So what she's saying is, she they were like, "We were in the accident," and she was like, "I was is, too." Uh, she was born for no reason. No, and then the professor you told it was like, "Oh, <laughs> we got to talk about accidents." <laughs> I mean, technically, <laughs> ooh, I mean, a weak pull-out game and uh, some chemical X will do that for you. Yeah, shoot, no chemical X was a weak pull-out. And I fuck around. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, we'll go That's back to the, to the countdown. Uh, uh, number seven, two thousand to two thousand five, Jackie Chan Adventures. Best damn one of the best damn shows I've ever watched, especially the Talisman arc. Mm-hmm. Which one? Really good show. Oh, Talisman. Jackie Chan. Hey, Jackie Chan. I have one I more thing. Tell you. I can't tell you how many times somebody has asked me something and my only response was ancient Chinese secret and walked away. Ancient Chinese secret. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. Which, if, if you had a talisman from that show, which would it be? I forgot the talismans. That was the whole... I would take the... Uh, Mm, I would definitely take Dragon. That's just fire breath. And uh, the Ox, that's super strength. Those two, I'm good. And Flight. I forgot about the whole Talisman. Oh, the Talismans. I forgot all about the Talismans. I ain't going to lie. Bro, those Talismans were OP. If they were born, if those Talismans were real in reality, this, oof. That's kind of like thinking that if Pokemon was real. Which I mean, we'll, 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 we'll definitely get to Pokemon. 
Got to catch them on if you're down. Um, if you see a Gyarados, if you see a Gyarados in, in the Detroit River, you be crying your eyes out. I watched a look. I did watch a video where the guy said, like, uh, okay, or I watched a video where somebody was like, "You, like a Gyarados couldn't exist." Really? The amount of, well, because of the amount of evolutional energy that it takes to create a Pokemon. Um, if yeah. you were to apply that into like a real world type of situation, that much displaced kinetic energy immediately would would cause like, essentially, a rift in the space time continuum. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. I'm not gonna. Man, bump that science shit. If a Gyarados existed, what would you do? We'll see Gyarados back in. Well, I don't have an answer, Chris. I just, I just, I do not have an answer. I'm not. I'm okay with like, you walking across the Rouge River. You see a Gyarados come out. Pray that it don't do use it. Twister, <laughs> and pray that it doesn't know how to fly, because Gyarados can do that. That's play. That's a good point. That. It's it is the Dragon Pokemon. Uh, uh, number uh, number six, we have. St- Shock 2000 to 2004. Well, that's pretty good show. Oh, it's great. Static Shock. Oh, yeah. You, you were coming in and out. So, yeah, you've been doing that a lot. I thought that was just me, but yeah, it might be, it might be, my, it might be my internet. So, so that's number six. Yes, number six. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm I'm gonna say that my top five I picked because of the theme song. Oh, I don't remember the shows much. I don't remember any of these shows. I'll tell you these shows much, but I do remember the theme songs. But these five are the most lit theme songs from Kids WB. Uh, number five, we have Pokemon Adventures of the Orange Islands from 1999, the most lit Pokemon theme song of all time. Which is that one? So you want to be a master of Pokemon? That one. <laughs> You just you just sit back and be like, yeah. When Tracy first came to, came to the uh to the game and little nigga Brock. named Tracy, I remember this him. Nigga named Tracy <laughs> with the with the little pink headband. <laughs> Straight off, I that was a girl, but he was just it's Japan. It flows both ways. <laughs> the, the views and opinions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, need that, we need that flashing on the screen every time we say something out of pocket. <laughs> He's still like a girl, but it is Japan. So that's messed up. I, Shout out to I our Japanese that. listeners in Tokyo, Kyoto. Shout out to the Japanese listeners. Shout out to uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. How y'all doing? A it's lot better years. than they were uh, a while ago. Yeah, it's been 80 about, years. Let go. Right now, it's been 80 years. Hey, did y'all, y'all see that? Uh, y'all see that WB Japan? Mm-hmm. Um, basically called up the U.S. and was like, "Hey guys, um, not that we don't appreciate this movie coming out, but like Oppenheimer is like just that whole subject is kind of touchy for us." Because you know, we understand. So was the German with Nazis, and yet people still make movies of that. Show us Schindler's List. Don't, don't, no. Yeah, but I think the difference there was that like Spielberg made Schindler's mm-hmm. List, right? Mm-hmm. Well. Oppenheimer. Well. Yeah. Suck it up. Y'all got 34 million people living in the city. Y'all should be worried about that. Number four. What's new Scooby-Doo? We're coming after you. We're gonna Come solve, solve that mystery. mystery. I see you, Scooby Doo. Da 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 da. All right, which was your favorite? What, what was your favorite favorite Scooby Doo movie? Kiss. Oh, Scooby Doo! Oh, Scooby Doo! Uh, oh, I forgot the uh, Scooby Doo with uh, WrestleMania. That was the most hilarious. Oh, that was that was the funniest one, yeah, but the best one to me, like I love the the kiss crossover. That shit was hmm. beautiful. Uh, every one of these boot, who was I like? It? The, it was I, like the old, I like the old ones from like the nineties or whatnot. Like uh, actually, I like Bears. Zombie Island is the best one though. Oh yeah, Zombie Island. That that one's my favorite right there. <laughs> And you and turn then, uh, it out. Yeah. 
was a complete 180. That was no, so. What what always what always annoyed me and like I love Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo was probably my favorite cartoon of all time, and it will be. But what really annoyed me was the fact of like they had that period where we did those movies in the nineties, or where they did those movies in the nineties, and the villains were actual you know things. I mean, you had literal zombie cat demons, right? For zombie Island. You had um, little aliens. Yeah, Shoot. alien invaders, actual aliens. You and then they, and then they were like, "What?" Then, but what's the Scooby Doo had that the whole thing where it's like, "Okay, we're back to the old style Scooby Doo," which was cool. Um, and then Mystery Incorporated came out, and the the entire like the big bad guy of that show was quite literally an eldritch god. It was like a like a like a HP Lovecraft Cthulhuian yeah yeah type yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Mm-hmm. yeah right. And right. I was like, this is. And they canceled it after two seasons. I was like, this is the greatest show. This is the greatest Scooby-Doo show of all time. It's like, (laughs) Mystery Incorporated is like a mix between that campy Scooby-Doo that you see in like the 60s and a Barbera. But at the same time, it gives you like the uh, real uh, realness of like aliens, terrors and all that. Like you said, HP Lovecraft, if you read one of his stories, that ain't no joke. (laughs) Uh, but right. also, they let Velma be gay, and that was it's, it's about time, kind of, but like at the very end. Uh, you talk about Gyarados popping up on and, uh, River Rouge, or what you gonna do when Cthulhu comes up up out of the sea? Also, quick shout out to well, speaking James of Cthulhu, Cthulhu and, and uh, uh, Gyarados. Well, damn. Speaking of uh, speaking of Gyarados coming out the Rouge River, number three we have. X- Evolution, two thousand. Yeah, what, 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 and what? You said X Men Evolution. Revol- Evolution. All right, that was that was a good show. That was that was, that was a really good show. Really good show. Um, number two. They did my nigga Spider Batman in that movie and that in that series. I'm just saying number that number right two. Batman Beyond, nineteen ninety nine to two thousand one. Uncontested. Again, rest of peace, Kevin Conroy. The best Batman voice of all time. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, that is Batman, right? That's the whole point of that is that Kevin Conroy is Batman. He, he is Batman, just the same as Mark Hamill is Joker. And then we have the ultimate number one. The animated series? It's WB. Show the one that every kid growing up from '98 on watched. Ultimate Muscle. Ultimate? No, not Ultimate. I forgot about that show. (laughs) Don't please, please don't bring that up ever again, Marcel. Ever. Don't ever bring that show up ever again. If you love wrestling, you will love this. No, 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 no. We're not watching Ultimate Muscle. <laughs> yeah, We're watching number song. one. We have we did they did. We have number one, the indigo league of Pokemon, the very first Pokemon season. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, that's fair. I wanna be the, when the first time you saw da, 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 da. when the first time you saw when you were at a Team Rockets gym. But that nigga Giovanni, he said, come for it, all of y'all. He didn't just say one person. He said, all of y'all. All All y'all. All of y'all. And that was, at first glance, you didn't think that was a Pokemon. You thought it was like a cyborg or something. You didn't really Mm -hmm. think about it until, like, their first movie. It was like, about the first movie. Was that That's one with uh, Mewtwo? Yeah. Yeah, It's the original Pokemon movie. Damn, they really, they really. I, I forget them all. I, I'm, I'm old. Damn, they. Damn, this really was a genetically altered Pokemon, and I like how they did that mm-hmm. for uh, Detective Pikachu. It continued that theme, like yeah. genetically modified Pokemon. I didn't watch Detective Pikachu. My favorite one was is it good, still, was it a good movie? What? Was it the Pikachu the movie? Yeah, it was good. yeah. It's my. It might be one. It's. I, I'm saying this right now. The best video game adaptation live action movie of all time. Uh, I don't know. Mortal Kombat looks pretty good. 
Uh, I, at that time, yes. But at like this uh, like this century, I'm going to have to give it with Detective Pikachu. Well, I mean, in this, in the like, what else, what else have they really done? Hmm. They've done some horrible. They've done some horrible arcade games. I mean, Resident Evil. Do we do we really need to go get into that? Resident Evil, yeah, House of the horrible. Dead. That was terrible. I forgot they made a House, House of the, of the Dead, Dead movie. Right. That was that. That was god awful. Yeah, it was god awful. It was. Um, it was. It really was. But yeah, speaking of not god awful, this was a pretty good list, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any research. I would say I, I, only complaint I have is like Static Shock needs to be in the top five. That's just. I would say the fact that you didn't include the animated series is also kind of perplexing. That 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 true. That is true. That was also. I'm talking about. Video. I'm talking. Those that I watched as a kid, I did not watch Batman the Animated. Oh, I thought so you I, did. that was way before. Okay, we you did. That was in 1992. I watched that. Was that was in 1992. I wasn't even born yet. I wasn't even uh, born I, yet. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I caught the I caught the back end of it in '94. Yeah, we we caught. Man, no, you you were a baby. You didn't even watch it. <laughs> Man, I never watched the show. Batman animated series until like later when it came out, like mm. as like a rerun or maybe. Like online when you watched it later, but no one, no one on this podcast right now watched it when he originally came out. One thing, shout out for Tim Burton for fleshing out Gotham City and all those characters. Because without him, you wouldn't have any of these movies. You wouldn't have any of these cartoon series. So shout out to him. What do we? Tim Tim Burton. We thank Tim Burton for Tim Burton for uh, his contributions to uh, Batman. The um, yeah, really? I don't know. That's a, were kind of a rough years for Batman. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're kind of rough. I mean, think about it. That whole animated series was based on Tim Burton's to the Tim Burton's movie, but they have a DC. That's it. I'm true. Well, I'm, I'm true. I'm, maybe I'm phrasing it wrong, but you see a lot of Tim Burton's themes. In the anime. From, from the Batman, from his Batman movies to like the animated series. Interesting. Okay. From music, from storylines, from all of that. The Joker was versed by Tim Curry, for God's sakes. True. It was. He was. Yeah, that is, that is true. That is true. Okay. Well, what also is true was that we have reached the end of the show. Yeah. So we've yeah. done. An hour and a half. Hour and this a half. Was, this was a riveting conversation. It really was. And uh, second time around, absolutely. See what happens are... when you get engaged, Chris. <laughs> I should be asking you this. What? See what happens when you get engaged? <laughs> My goddamn. Adrenaline <laughs> in my soul. Man, well. Next time we'll be talking about um, the ABC Kids side of the spectrum. I was more of an ABC Kids kid, so. No, I get that. I was too, for the most part. I was more nostalgic when it comes to ABC Kids because I really watched those shows. So, the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the host and guests, and not their sponsoring institutions. What you doing, Detroit? Now, what you do in Detroit is this part of the podcast where we talk about news stories and hot topics for the last week or today. Um, we were talking about a track meet. So, Dutch runners fall in separate races right before crossing the finish line. Oh, that's a little. That's like a little. they were literally. Five steps away from the finish line, and they <laughs> fell. <laughs> that's actually that's a lot funny. The fix is in. They're like, yeah, she's going, she's going, she's about to reach, and she, oh, she fails, and USA wins. <laughs> no, that, that, that had to be a fix. Something ain't right over there. Nah. But then, in, but in the second race, in the second race, all these, uh, she, it was a Dutch woman, like a good, a good, like two steps of, ahead of the. There was three Ethiopian women behind her. 
And as she got to the finish line, she she looked over and then she fell. So all the Ethiopians won. Put one, two, three, first, second, and third. <laughs> they had to split the pot between Ethiopia and America. There, there's no way. I don't know. I don't know. Looked pretty convincing to me. But yeah, it's been that, that was a fast race. Speaking of a slow race, the Detroit Motor City Dream Cruise was last weekend. Jay Leno was there. Did y'all see the video of Jay Leno? Yeah. yeah. No, he loves his cars though. He lo- he sure does love his cars. He showed up. He was on Woodward and uh and 14. Uh damn. Right, right by the uh, right by the wing stop. Uh that would have been, been cool. I can't understand where this woman's coming from. So a Miami real estate broker sentenced to 3.5 years in prison for a $381,000 PPP loan fraud. She bought a Bentley, a luxury apartment, and cosmetic surgery. During her sentencing, during her sentencing, her excuse was everybody was doing it. <laughs> Which That's they were though. You Which talk they about, were though. Yeah, but there's a difference. You're talking about politicians. You just you no, you be you. Doing it too. I have never met a person who has you don't tried know, you don't know to the right scam people. PPP loan. You don't know the right people. <laughs> I ain't trying to get into that much trouble, okay? Right, me neither. That's why you're talking about it on the show. I ain't trying to Dan Snyder myself into jail, okay? Dang. I don't. I don't even think Dan Snyder went to prison. <laughs> he about to. He owes hmm. like two. He owes like a billion to the IRS right now. Man. Well, well you know, you gotta save money where you can. Um, and so did this couple. People thought that a couple was taking their engagement photos while they were taking in. They thought they were taking it in Italy, but in reality, oh no, they took the pictures, their engagement photos, in front of Olive Garden. But they look pretty damn real. They look real as hell. <laughs> they took it in front of Olive Garden. Man, I don't that, even was, like Olive Garden. That, that just goes to show you that they spent all their budget on the wedding and ain't got no long time afterward. Maybe you I mean, didn't. Hey, maybe do, maybe a photographer do. knows how to. If you you if you know a photographer that, that can do what they do, they can make anything look like Italy or Greece. We got AI. We got AI right now. I can. I can show myself hacking the Caspian Mountains. Mm-mm-mm. You say the Caspian Mountains? <laughs> where, where, where are the Caspian Mountains, Marcel? Mediterranean. I don't even know where the Caspian Mountains are. Let me look it up. Okay, the Caspian Mountains. They separate Russia. Wait. They separate Russia from... Okay, yeah, from the in Eurasia. So technically, technically you're you're wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> I was wrong. It's in the same the, area. I was, wrong, I was wrong about the location. I was not wrong about the name. I will take that. Yo, you, you're right. Yeah, you get yeah, you. You're you in the right area too. You like the Mediterranean. It's in the it's in the right area. It's, it's close in the area. enough. It's close. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Don't mean you're correct though. True. You know, on Jeopardy, you, you would have got minus a thousand, but it's okay. Um, Turn your phone off. All oh, that mean. <laughs> now, who was that last time? It was Basil, wasn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. He was like, I don't have it on. <laughs> yes, you do, when it's really loud. <laughs> um, we have the highest grossing rappers turned actors. And these top five will just blow your mind. Highest grossing rappers turn actors. Number five, Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. Yep. Three point nine billion. Yep. They say they say rappers turned actors. Yes. Huh. Childish Gambino slash Donald Glover. I thought. Well, I thought he was acting before he was rapping. No, he 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 had some. He had a few things before the community. Okay. And then of course, after Atlanta, he had, boom, Atlanta, and all the other stuff. With right, I think he had two albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a couple of singles at that time. Yeah. Uh, number four, we have Queen Latifah, of course, four point nine billion. 
Living single. Of course, she had the rap career, signed to Motown in the late 80s, and then became, of course, Queen Latifah. <laughs> uh, she was a just right, set it off. She also had like a small part in a, was it, was it, I think it was 22 Jump Street, the most hilarious part of the movie. Oh, uh -oh 22. <laughs> Oh no! The ice Cube was just staring at Jonah Hill, and then all, all of a sudden, Queen Latifah's on the screen too. I'm like, wait, how did she get Schmidt here? Schmidt fucked the captain's daughter. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Oh shit! Man, Schmidt fucked the captain's we, daughter. You do a huge jump to number three. We have Ludacris. Every time, six point five. It's another foot in your ass. Six point five billion. Who uh Ice T? Ludacris. Yeah. Of course he's in all the fast movies. That's probably why. Yeah. It's and his albums do did sell though. All those albums he yeah. did in the two thousands. Oh yeah. Sell. Um it's number two was number two was just crazy to me because he was never like technically he was a rapper, but I would classify him as like a rapper, you know. Number two was Mark Wahlberg. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Marky Mark and the oh, Funky Bunch. Mm, 6.8 definitely, definitely have to bring some questions to that. He had one good one good single and then <laughs> went to acting. I, I don't know if I can say that it's a rap career. Hey, it was a hit. That that single was a hit, though. It was a hit. But nobody, nobody in the world. Him and Donnie D? Come on now. Nobody's nobody's going. Nobody in America is looking for. You know what I could I could listen to some Marky D and the Funky Bunch. No, no hey, Marky no. Mark. Marky Mark. No, nobody's going for that. Nobody's listening to that. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's that one song. Hell yeah. Yeah. That uh, one good, song. good vibrations yeah. was the shit though. Turn up the bass. Maybe for maybe for good the beach vibrations. Boys. You said for the Beach Boys? <laughs> Maybe for the Beach Boys, but Maybe not. Nah. Boys. <sighs> Man, the, the views and opinions expressed on the show. <laughs> it may be for the Beach Boys. Wow. Oh, That's wild. God. And of course, number one, he has his own record. He has his own studio now. Will Smith, $9.5 billion. You know what? I thought it'd be Snoop Dogg. No. He's not up there. Really? Soup Dog got his own movie studio. That's true though. Get on Westbrook Studios. <laughs> oh yeah. That, that that studio. Um yeah, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of closures this week. So please look look at um M dot, uh look at your local city's uh construction. Because oh, this is definitely one of the the first of the two big vacation weeks here in Michigan. Of course, we have Labor Day weekend, and then we have this weekend. So please check out for your construction and traffic patterns this weekend. So you're not stuck in traffic. All right. Get oh, Lord. Stuck in traffic regardless. Man, or leave early, early in the morning when there's no one on the, on the road. All right. We're going to move down to Atlanta at a local Kroger. They had a rat infestation. Oh, that's not good. One one employee quit after a rat jumped on a coworker, and Kroger claims that the issue has been fixed. First of all, it is a rat infestation. That means they had time <laughs> to infest your store and to crawl on things, including the open fruit. <laughs> what do they do with the fruit at the at the shopping market? They just leave it up there. What? That's a good question. Do they just leave the fruit out there? They have to have some refrigerator. They have to have some fridges for. They want to just keep it out there when it closes, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask them when they gonna go to Kroger. What are y'all doing with all this fruit? The, 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 why ain't nobody asked that? <laughs> why are the grapes open? <laughs> I mean, come on! Like a, come I know, on I know. I like Joe Randazzo's. Like as, Joe Randazzo's be open. As many times as we put our hands in one of those random grape bags, man, that is. I don't put my hands in grape bags. What's wrong with you, Walter? You don't do that. 
You don't uh, you, you, you don't just take a grape and say that that's all right. And no, I'm a germaphobe. Right? I don't do that. You're a germaphobe? Yes, we've been through this. This is the first time I'm hearing about that. This is the first time I'm hearing about this whole thing. Yes, I'm a germaphobe. So no, I don't stick my hand in a random ass grape bags because that's gross. Oh, so yeah, I'm guessing you, I'm guessing you got a couple of sweaters and some uh, LA Awesome in your room right now. No, LA Awesome is all right. Um, it's it's a very weird. I don't have time to get into it, but it's it's just easier to send a drummer Yeah, I don't know. He's he, he, he's selective about his drummer. Yeah, it, it, it seems like you're not a serious drummer because if you were, you'd be uh, doing this podcast. You'd be like bubble. You'd be like Monk. You'd be like Adrian Monk. Oh no! Shit. My, my camera's not straight. No, that's not germaphobe. That's a uh, OCD. ADHD. It's OCD. ADHD. OCD. Maybe like this. <laughs> that, 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 those are two different things. Uh, let me see. All right, here we go. Home cooked meals are for men who are faithful, work, and pay bills. The rest of y'all get hot dogs. Can we do both? I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't consider that a hot take per se. Is it I a hot take that, though? Well, no. What I mean by because that is, if I mean, she because if she didn't care if she cared about him, she would you know she would give him hot dogs. But since you don't care, why are you feeding him at all? <laughs> I feel you know like that's I mean? one of those. I feel like that's one of those meals where it's like, look, you 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 done you done pissed me off, but I'm still making food. So here you go. No, no, I'm Man. Sure I'm you one half cold hot dog with the ass piece of bread and a watery mustard straight from the bottle. That's just it. All I know is that if, if Alyssa is making hot dogs, I'm uh, somebody messed up. Did it, I ain't that the it ain't the child. That's the damn it ain't the child. It ain't the child. It's like, what did I do? What did I do today? It ain't the child. Mm mm mm. All right. So the next one is when you forget you have a bill on auto pay and you get an email saying thank you for your payment. That's the worst. Actually, that's, the a double, that's a double edged sword right there. At one side, I'm like, I'm happy this shit this, this, this shit has been paid. But on the other side, ain't my account at like five bucks? Dang. How many bills you got, Marcel? How much stuff you paying for? Listen, I got a couple of subscriptions for some anime sites that I'm not too proud of, and we just won't leave it at that. No, 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 we ain't just leaving it at that, my <laughs> friend. No, no. <laughs> we just, we just gonna... <laughs> hey, you started off by saying what you what you got. So yeah, yeah. He's like, I got, I got crunch, I got Crunchyroll, I got Peacock, I got. Wait, do you have Xfinity? Because like my peak, like I have Peacock, but it's rolled in with Xfinity. I have my own Peacock uh, account. That's with the WWE and the, all that. Yeah, I've been paying. I've been I've been using it since like I want to say January. Hmm. It's actually pretty affordable. Yes, it is very. It's it, it's very affordable. That auto pay be working because I mean I don't want to spend I don't want to go in manually and pay for TV. Like no, those are the no. things I'll do auto pay for, like my streaming services no, and my I mean, internet. You'd be scared to do it for your uh, student loans. Student loans, they they email me the other month. But, um, yeah, the worst than DTE. When those things start it's coming true. through. Just as man, good. DTE DTE is about to get a whole letter from me. DTE want to get that? You're going to catch fades. First of all, my bill's never been over eighty bucks ever. Oh, that must be nice. These oh, niggas oh, want almost two hundred. Cap, that is These, cap. It's not cap. These niggas want almost two hundred last for this month. I said, wait, huh? No, what? And and I'm using the same appliances I used last month. <laughs> like I never left the light on. Or nothing. You have got to leave the refrigerator door open or something. What the hell? Something had to happen because. I have never seen a bill that much for DTE ever. Eight hundred? No, it was it was two. It was two, almost 200. two hundred. Two? Damn. Well, 
my light bulb be my, what light bulb be bullshitting you? I know that's what I'm about to see. Like every because I have like those uh, night lights that come on with it's dark, so I'm gonna start opening all the windows. This nigga got a night light. <laughs> no, I have light nights for like when you're in the dark because when you when the lights are off, it's dark in here. Marcel, oh, you remember, remember when you ended? And I have a kid, so I might be stepping on sharp things. So I need to know what's on the ground. Oh, Look, all I'm saying Lego is like a Lego. All I'm saying is, uh, Schoolhouse Rock said it pretty well. When you're in the dark and you want to see, you need electricity. You can't be mad. Electricity comes in the form of fucking night lights. True. We don't use. I don't use night lights in the room. I use light like in the hallway. When the, I have two in the living room, and then one when you first come in, because it's really dark when you come in. But that's it. I don't have one in here because I have all this light in here, and the kitchen. And we have a kitchen light too, which doesn't use I a lot think, of electricity. I, I, I think I know what's running your DC bill up. What is it, Marcel? Enlighten me. All that shit that you just said. Nope. Enlighten me. Nope, because I had the same stuff last month, and it was like seventy nine dollars. Um, someone got it. Did you in your past life did you date a DTE worker to deserve that kind of shit? No, it, it, it's across the board for everybody. Everybody's DTE went up. They increased their rate significantly. Yeah. For August. They did. Anyway. Um Yeah, buddies. Yeah. There's a uh there's there was a post on Facebook said, Y'all rather read out loud or do a problem on the board? So which one of y'all? Ooh. Uh I would rather read out loud. Well, I, my, my, I ain't got good handwriting half the time, so I, I would rather do that. I don't know. Depending on what the problem is, I'll, I'll do a problem on the board. I like reading out loud as well, but not in high school. I hated doing it in high school. They'd be like, Chris, read the next paragraph. I'd be like, dang, I ain't even got the right page. Speaking of, y'all remember popcorn reading? Oh my God. I hated popcorn reading. I was like, skip it, me, it, please. It'd be fine until they, everybody decided to pick on the one kid that couldn't read that well. Oh, my God. I was the one kid that couldn't read, read well. Piece. I'm so sorry. Because I was like, I want to read this in peace. Like, I don't want the people to read for me. Like, damn. That's what we have spark notes for. I said, I, 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 oh, I can't do that. That's cool. Humpty Dumpty sat on a what 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 wall i'd be like nigga we are in high school it's how you do it in high school reading a book like that you we learn i don't know what I, just, I just, I just, just can't read. Read. some people this just can't read book, this was not on the book curriculum hey hey for some dps schools it is um shout out to all, all the dps schools <laughs> I know y'all doing well. I don't think you get the shit talk them and then no, 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 follow no. up with a shout out. Lie. Oh, I could talk shit about TV anything. Commercial Detroit. lie. The biggest TV commercial lie wasn't the burger ads. It was great things are happening in Detroit public schools. They are. I remember that commercial. That they are. No, lie. great things are happening, and they're and they're all happening in the in the front office. And the superintendent, they're getting over one point two million dollars, while the kids don't it's learn. Okay. It's okay. Shout out to all the DPS workers out there, all the teachers. All the admin, all the janitors, Open more school, all the coaches, we need it. all the mental health workers. Get my cousin a real social job. workers, truancy officers, metal detectors, you know, metal detector workers. I forgot they had those now. No, 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 like the, the people who actually fix them. Oh, uh, that like the IT people who actually have to fix them and come in and do all the stuff. IT tech, they make money, bro. I'm just saying, I, I, I'll be a metal detector. I'll do a metal detector company like that. I would say more school because the amount of kids kind of went down to Detroit, but and I blame that. For, I blame charter schools, but um, but yeah, it's a double edged sword with, with charter schools, especially in, in Detroit. But we'll get into that on on another episode. In other great news, Chick Fil A is launching a new honey pepper pimento chicken sandwich. Who the hell cares? Wait, wait, wait! Can With you say that again for the people in the back? A new Chick Fil A is launching a new honey pepper pimento sandwich. Pimento as in peppers, or as in like the cheese? 
The cheese. That's cheese. cheese on. Nigga, oh, that stuff is nasty. Pepper oh, pimento oh. chicken sandwich with a sweet and subtle spicy kick. And then at the bottom of the post, they said, "Oh yeah, we're also going to be, we're also going to be doing a caramel crumble milkshake to accompany the new sandwich, like in the small writing." <laughs> A caramel caramel milkshake. A caramel yeah. crumble milkshake, which which doesn't sound that bad. No, it doesn't. Out of all this, out of all this news, I'm hearing I ain't hear nothing about opening on Sunday. <laughs> They're not gonna open on Sunday. They're never gonna open. You asking for too much now. You know better. Don't do that. But but it, it's weird though. Like you will crave Chick Fil A on Sunday though. I don't crave Chick Fil A at all. But okay. Same. I don't crave it. I think you can make a better chicken. But when you but but when you think about it, you think about it on Sunday, you're like, oh chick fil it's Sunday. But I think but no, but I think part of that reason is because they're closed on Sunday. Like the the biggest joke about Chick fil A the biggest two jokes about Chick fil A are they're not open on Sun or they're not open on Sunday in my pleasure, right? Like Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Even if they're really mad at you, they'd be like, My pleasure. I'd be like, Yeah, that was a mad my pleasure. (laughs) <laughs> you tell I appreciate it. that, my pleasure. So you, so you tell the boss and be like, "Look, I don't want to be that person, but you're a your employee." Um, he said, "My pleasure, kind of mean, kind of mean." Your employer, he was real. Your employer he was said, real. "Yeah, your employer said my pleasure and rolled his eyes." So I think I should get a free sandwich. <laughs> I said that once. I got a free sandwich. Shout out to the Chick Fil A really? in Southfield. On Telegraph and 12 Mile, <laughs> they gave out free sandwiches for anything. So go there, say that, say that a, a piece of a drop of water on your windshield, they will get you a chicken sandwich for free. Fuck those and you, can, shit. And you can customize that's it. You can, customize. Shit. you can add cheese, you can add pickles, you can Who add you bacon. Can add cheese to a chicken sandwich. That's you nasty. can add bacon to it. Oh, I feel like you could do it if you did it correctly. You just gotta know how to do it. Like, like, you know, like jack cheese, like, a bacon, yeah. a ba- a bacon ranch chicken sandwich, though. You can make it. Go to Chick Fil A right now. Put some just walk, on just walk, roll up and be like, "Hey, look, I feel as though I should deserve a free chicken sandwich." Yeah, you can do no that. Other purpose the fact that it, like, it shouldn't be restricted to Chick Fil A, though. It should be like all across the restaurants. No, just no, just be like, no, "Hey, look, I feel as though I should." She'd be like, look, I feel as though I should get this for free um, I because like... I had to leave my dwelling to come to you. So... <laughs> dwelling? Yeah. Well, no. They, they they took like 30 minutes to make my breakfast. So they gave me my breakfast for free. And they gave me two like cards for like a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. So I still have those two Chick-fil-A sandwich cards in my wallet right now. But they also know like just for measures so you know. time. I know. I tried to use it on Sunday. I said, "Wait, why is it no one in line?" Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Do we, now you no, that'd way. be that'd be usually the point when you like in the in the drive through fast line, drive through, and you like the first one in line, and you realize, "Damn, this bitch closed." Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'd be so disappointed. All that work, but, you, but I, I can only use them at the Southfield one. So when I want to go to Southfield from Farmers and Hills, where I work. It's like because of the construction, then they close the exits. I'm like, dang, I don't, I can't go, I can't go. <laughs> it's gonna take me an hour to get there, <laughs> man. But Chick Fil A, man, they had a new, um, was it peach, peach sweet tea? Interesting. Oh, it is so good. But they only sell it in like the small one. You peak my interest. Peach. They're only making it like a small cup, Marcel. They have a they actually have a, a Sunjoy one, a sun a peach sunjoy too. So it's lemonade, peach, and sweet tea. So I'm gonna have to rob people now. <laughs> mm. But a small is like four dollars. A small is four dollars. See now that's just disappointing. But again, it's so good. something you can something you can make at home. You could. But Chick Fil A can do it for you for four dollars in a small cup. <laughs> you know what Chick Fil A can also do? Give you diabetes. They it, it can. I mean, that's so why you got. That's why you got. That's else. why you got. That's why you got to drink it in moderation. About, I never said anything about Popeyes. That's why you got to drink it in moderation, Marcel. 
Uh, Brandon wants to. Oh, Popeyes can definitely give you diabetes. My little brother Brandon just had Popeyes will eat give you Popeyes diabetes. Biscuit and he almost went to the ER. No, because no, I mean, I understand that, but I mean, Popeyes will definitely give you diabetes because they, the one on Telegraph at 12 miles, they do not like, they don't understand like syrup and water need to mix before you serve it to people. They're just giving people syrup. Oh, my syrup. What? I took a sip out of my large lemonade. I said, what is this? What's up? Like, I couldn't drive. I couldn't see because I was just so sipping you drink, syrup. You drinking Europe? Exactly. I said, Europe? I was like, okay. You... Try to go to the gas station and get some like Calypso lemonade. Oh, no, that's worse. That, that will make you drive. But I'd rather have that than syrup, straight up syrup. Oh, that's fair. Syrup. I'm like, oh. That Calypso lemonade is actually pretty good. Oh, no. Calypso lemonade good. is really good. But one of them one of them flavors will clean you out like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, that, 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 that's the, uh, the, uh, the, the tropical one, the blue one. Yeah, the, the, that one. <laughs> that one's clean you out. Potent. And oh, the red one too. I think it was like a tropical, tropical paradise or something like that. The red yeah, dyes think, and the blue yeah, dyes. I think, will I think it was a lemonade out. flavor, something yeah. like that. It will clear you out. Oh boy, good. Shoot, man. Um. Oh, another thing in the news: starting in 2024, U.S. passport holders traveling to Europe will need to apply for an ETIAS. So you'll need to apply for a visa. I thought that was only for, for I thought that was only for like foreign visitors. We are foreign visitors to Europe. <laughs> what, what is I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I thought that you only needed the passport. My bad. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't understand why we need a visa to go. Tell you something else. Doesn't that uh, we're staying enhance, there? Doesn't that uh Michigan enhance ID double as a passport? No, 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 doesn't. not no. It only does it, it only does it for like I think it is um, Puerto US, Rico. Or, well, you don't need a, you don't Puerto need a Rico. passport to go to. You don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico because no, 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 no. I no, I understand that, but <laughs> but when you're flying, no, but when you're flying, you need some sort of like traveling thing to go to Puerto Rico, and you can used to go to Jamaica and Bahamas and Canada. But and those Mexico. are international. But well, Canada, is, Canada, Canada is given. They solely made the enhance ID for Canada. That is it to go to Canada. That is it. Yeah, for money, for yeah, just for you know, back and forth to Canada. But um, you you definitely need a passport if you want to go anywhere else. But so. although, if you've been in like Detroit for so long and you have visited Canada for so long, it's basically going like to your neighbor's house. That's no. It. Some people, have, some people have never been to Canada. That's true. Some people, some people don't even that. know that that is Canada across the across the river. Straight up, I thought it was straight up when I was a kid. I thought that was Bell, uh, second Bell Isle for the longest time. I thought it was like Detroit too. <laughs> it was Bell Isle too. When you want the Detroit Princess and you cross that, uh, you ride on the edge of Canada, you start to see it like, damn, that's a beautiful area. Mm-hmm. Minus the factories. Yeah, that's that, True. that, that, that too. That it's too. a big pile of trash. But that that explains the that explains why it, it was Detroit for the longest. It's, it, it basically is Detroit, just Canadian. It's Canadian Detroit. It. It's Canadian, Canadian Detroit. You're going to die, but they're going to say, you hey, know, before we're, before they shoot you. <laughs> man, like, like, Good day, eh? Canada, uh, you, can, you can smell the health care over there. Oh, that's, that's when you go, so uh, are you going to put them up there, the or uh, are we going to have a real problem here? Like, you think oh, you boy, smell dude. the healthcare? Yeah. I mean, we crop. I mean, there's there's obviously like a borderline between Lake, the Detroit River, between us and Canada. Obviously, border between the two of us. Like, and I'd be surprised when uh, the Detroit Princess just goes all the way around, like. Are we crossing the national waters? Do I need a do, 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 do I need a new name? Yeah, we are. No, we are. no, you 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 don't yes, because technically speaking, until Maritime whatever waters. you're traveling crosses over in like whatever you're traveling has to touch the ground of the country you're going to. So like if you're flying, oh. yeah. So technically speaking, like if I were if I were to fly from here to London, we would still technically be in America. 
until until uh, you touch the ground. Yeah, yeah. Until like you, you are now entering front uh London, the United right? Kingdom, United Kingdom. <laughs> Girl. You're entering the UK. Like there are literally, there are literally signs in the airport that says you are entering such and such. So we drive on the left, bitch. Go get a driver. Like, I'd be scared. I'd be scared to drive to London. I'd be like, oh, we gotta drive on this side of the road. And I fuck around and crash my shit. <laughs> so no, like they drive on the other side of the road, but the steering wheel is also on the right side. Oh, <laughs> I, like, no. God, damn. I, I noticed that too. Oh. Like, damn, come on, New London. You can't win. <laughs> American drivers can't win. We can't. You ain't got no I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, tap, I, tap, I tap for a second. Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying, yeah, no, the, the, you drive on the it's right switched. and the wheel's on the right. Yeah. yeah no, no, you, you're, no, no, you're, the, you're the driving the left and the yeah, wheel's on the right. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's because it's what it's. Because you, you got to turn closer to the center lane. Yeah. Mm. Or the center line, yeah. But if it has a car driving stick with those roads, we all in trouble. But it, but but it's not a left hand turn though, so you gotta like oh. it's it's it's, a, it's weird. Oh, I tried oh, watching it on YouTube for like fifteen minutes. I I I got dizzy, bro. <laughs> I don't think you want to. I don't think people understand how buck wild the driving rules are in Michigan. <laughs> like we might they be don't. The only, they, we might be we are the only state to have our own turn named after our state. And none of them have it. No, no, is it? They have the uh, New Jersey rights or New Jersey lefts. No, man. Like I said, if we drive in London, we might fuck around and crash our shit out the gate. Because of, well of, of New Jersey, you can't straight go to on left turns. So you got to make three rights, or it's just crazy. You oh, go that's around. some make bullshit. Yeah, and and in and in New York too, all the uh, one way streets, you have to make three right turns to make a. Left. Like I said, if I you, fuck you know, around and crash your shit. Michigan be like, fuck it. No, Texas. <laughs> actually, Texas Michigan, drive, Texas Michigan's Texas actually the, mo- like, the more safer. Texas Michigan's drive. the more safer left turns because you Texas. In like Texas, Florida, Texas California, Texas Nevada. Like, you can go straight off. Like everybody else. Yeah, you can go straight off a left turn if you and go 80 you got, miles an hour. And you, got, and you got hot weather and you got open carry. And you got yeah, open carry is not that bad. And you got Houston traffic though. Houston traffic is very, very annoying. I but if, have, you, but if you know what time to go out, then you won't hit it. I, I go out been, later. I okay. have been I have been on the road since 1 a.m. It is 8 a.m. right now. I've only moved two feet. Okay, first of all, you need to get out, you need to get off the freeway. Yeah, you might as, I might yeah. as well. I might as well. The walk. sun is up, sir. The sun leave, is up. Leave the car. I'm a, I leave the car. I'm walking to that. Um, we're gonna talk about that next week, along with um, some video games we're gonna talk about next week, with a lot of other uh, great debaters in the conversation. Uh, one can hope. One can hope. Yes, but uh, see y'all next week. Uh, I'm your host, Chris Canty. Thank you, Marcel Smith and Walter Quit. Quit, thanks for being on the show. Oh, See you next week. Here. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions.